this had a pre-season game two day or not yesterday, the day before, so pretty fresh in my mind. Got a shiner here, so probably Halle Tapole or I could, I could get Jamie McIntosh as well because he was in there trying to be a bully on to uh, Liam Coltman. I don't want to leave him hanging. Um, after yesterday's game, we have to be Jamie McIntosh. Uh, started the way tussle in the game and got a few cheap shots on a few boys, so I've got to get him back. That would be uh, Tom Franklin. Uh, purely because he took a sabbatical during our rugby season this year. I think I've TJ Ioani there, most definitely. You know, he's always a bit, a bit of a cheeky fella, so he deserves an African every now and again. He's been told once or twice by the coach yesterday, I think, mean, which is always good. Probably be uh, Tala, old TJ. You know, he likes, to, likes a bit of banter. He likes to yeah, talk it up sometimes, but yeah, probably Tala. Peter Brain. Uh, Matt Ferris. Definitely Matt Fittis. He uh, a lot of annoying things around the gym and training. Just because he thinks he's funny, but he's not. Matt Fittis, straight away. Um, he's trying to uh, he's trying to enforce a nickname on the uh, granddad, and this is not working. Um, so yeah, that'll be my main reason why. But if you go Matt Fittis, he's uh, he just gets on your nerves a bit sometimes. I like to say Matt Fittis. <laughs> Play club rugby with him, and you know, sometimes he is. Pretty bad chap. I'll go with Matt Fattis purely because I live on Hayden Parker. Yeah. Hayden Parker. I'd have to go with my flatmate, Michael Collins. Um, I have to put up with him 24 7, live with him, so yeah, he gets a bit on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. Um, <laughs> probably Kim win right now. <laughs> It'd be Joe Moody. Joe Moody from Canterbury, yeah. But got a bit of history. Be you, mate, for getting me up on a Sunday morning. Um, probably you for getting me over here to do this on a Sunday morning.